Hey everybody, it's Beth from Our Liberty House. I'm here to give you guys an update about what we've been doing as we build out our front yard vegetable garden. Um, we've been super busy since I talked to you guys last and I'm just gonna kind of give you an overview about what we've been up to. Phase one, check in with you guys. It's a beautiful fall day. It's gonna be 100 degrees today. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But um, Lucas and I are gonna be out here and we're gonna start staking out our new layout because um, we're gonna be ordering garden boxes. And I just wanna make sure you know the layout's good and we order the right sizes. So here we go. Hey everybody, today in the garden, I'm doing a really special project. I'm gonna be putting together our raised garden bed for our daughter, Nora. She is one years old, so I know it's a little young, but <laughs> I wanted a plan for it. And basically what I've read is that if you garden with your kids or want them in the garden, but are afraid of them like pulling out plants before they're ready or harvesting fruit before it's ripe, um, give them their own space to do whatever they want in and just play and explore. And that way um, they have a spot to do it. And it's, you can teach them, you know, it's not gonna be in mom and dad's beds. It's gonna be in your raised bed. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna get, put together this uh, birdie, it's a circle, the short circle bed uh, for our daughter, Nora. So we have been super busy trying to get this section of the front yard level, or at least level-ish. It's never gonna be perfectly level because we're at the bottom of a hill. So it all just gradually slopes. And even though we're on a slope, we're going to be trying to level each garden box as best as we can. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm just using some extra fill dirt that we had to just kind of bring it up um, just to make the top as flat as possible. So it's not um, like super wonky in any one direction. So we are gonna be doing that. It's a little bit more challenging up here. We have two beds going on the left side of this sidewalk and I don't know if you can tell just how sloped this section of the yard is but it's pretty significant um, like from that post to that post I don't know how many inches that would be but we may end up needing to do like a small like one layer retaining wall or something like that just to get it more level but we will be tackling that once we get these beds put together and set. We've ordered all of our raised garden beds. We've decided to do like a prefab uh, garden bed this time instead of building. And I'm gonna go into kind of a deeper detail of that in another video. We've been busy putting these together and kind of mapping out exactly where they're going to be because we've rented a trencher to bury all of our irrigation lines. And we're really excited to have buried irrigation lines uh, for our garden setup. Um, and we're actually using a one inch PVC. So that will just prevent, you know, any weathering that happens when that PVC is exposed or any animals coming through and nibbling on like flexible lines or anything like that. So we've kind of marked it out. Um, it's tapped into our entire irrigation system, which is pretty great. And we'll have, um, you know, lines running to each bed. Um, and then uh, once we set all the beds, you can kind of see we started to do it here. We will have a um, individual shutoff valve for each bed, which is gonna be awesome. Um, just in case we're not using all the beds, we can shut it off. It'll just be super great because things like garlic and onions, you wanna be able to control that water. Um, so it'll just give us a little bit more flexibility. And then we've also tapped in, you know, water lines because we have plans for some flower beds like across the front, as well as like in front of the house here too. Another project I've been super busy on is pulling up the original rock border that was uh, at the front of our house. It actually had mulch on top of it, so you maybe didn't notice it if you were looking that closely. This house just has like, I don't know, a couple inches deep worth of these um, one to three inch pebbles. And um, we're planning, at least for now, to just put mulch down as our base layer for the garden. And I really just wanted it to be kind of seamless. I didn't want to have a rock 
border here. Just be, Rock is just so difficult in so many ways. And I'm planning to have things growing here that I can dig in and rocks. Having a rock border is just very challenging to dig in. But anyways, it's been a labor of love. If you've ever pulled up rock like this, it just, it sucks. But um, we're getting through it. I have most of it up here. Just like the final layer, I need to come through with the shovel. And then over here, there's still quite a bit more work to do. You can see I'm still kind of at it um, at the second layer. And then up here, you know, there's still quite a bit more kind of all through here too that will eventually be coming up. So like I said, we're really hoping to get garlic planted in this box here. It is like mid-October at the moment, mid to late October. And it's like at the tail end of when we want to be planting garlic, but I'm really hopeful that we can do it. And I know we can do it. Um, this bed is pretty well set at the moment. I just need to fill it with dirt, um, which my husband is going to be picking up some soil on the way home from work today. And then we also have a palm tree that got shredded um, a little while ago that I'm going to be using as fill here as well, um, just to mitigate the amount of dirt we have. So that's really next up on my list of things to do is to get that bed set up because I'm just really excited to plant some garlic. So that's pretty much the high level overview of what we got going on right now. I just wanted to hop on and give you guys a little progress report and update as to what we've been up to. I know it's been a little quiet on here, but I'm excited to be um, gearing up to get some more content out for you guys. So make sure you guys are following us, like this video and comment. I'd love to start a conversation with you guys. Bye for now.